fakest thing a friend did to me? Why are you beefing with me over my nigga? Like, you want him? You got out it. Do I plan on moving out at 18? I wouldn't say I would be ready, but honestly, I feel like I would be ready. Why are I so worried about my body count? But then again, this is answering questions that I've been avoiding. So, the most toxic thing you've done to a nigga? You ever cheated? Keep it a buck with the person. Then she just go out and cheat. Would you ever take a boy seriously? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you going through a breakup? Oh, yeah, I've been asking me, trying to figure out what's going on with my love life, and the answer is. I will be doing a answering avoided questions video. I basically went on my Instagram, I, th I think last week or two weeks, no, not two weeks ago. Definitely last week and I was like asking questions um, that you guys want to know, but like interesting questions, not like, oh, how old are you type shit, like interesting avoided questions that I've been avoiding. And we're going to do a mukbang. I was going to do Indian food, but I couldn't get it. So I'll probably do that next time. So. Today we got Buffalo Wild Wings. If this shit is not hot, it's gonna be a motherfucking problem. Today is Vlogmas Day 4. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for the hashtag Day of Mob. Now with the game, you can hang with us for the dude. Let's go jump into the video. So since I'm on my bed, you know, can't be having the food directly on my bed. Got it on my eating tray. I just went to the, um, I just went to the deli and got me juice. This is not even the juice I wanted, but I guess. Six boneless honey barbecue things. I got nachos. I got mozzarella sticks. What the fuck? It's not even like a pull away. Mm -mm. I might have to eat this up. Yeah. Okay, now we can start. Um, They gave me blue cheese. Let me know in the comments below if y'all rather blue cheese or ranch. Ranch is for salad. Blue cheese is for chicken. I was I would always eat ranch with my chicken, but ever since I had blue cheese, it was like fuck ranch. These paper straws, like yeah, it saved the turtle, but I need like a, a metal straw at least. First question is, um, what plans do we have after high school? Like, what are you doing? Are you going to college or not? As you guys may or may not know, I'm a junior. So, I graduate next year. I don't know yet. What I'm planning on doing is going to college. Not like out of state. Not like out of state or nothing, but... I don't know, probably. I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Whatever college I'm going to do, I'm going to go to. I'm going to study business and marketing and entrepreneurship. And I'm going to take a class for... Um, real estate but I also want to start a business I might start a sweatsuit business because like if you know me you know I love sweatsuits but like I want a creative design not just like what everybody's doing um if not then I want to sell something different not something that everybody is doing continue doing YouTube so and I want to travel and stuff so honestly I'm just living she says the fakest thing a friend did to me. Once I see the red flags, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. You, you done. You're done. Like you're done. The fakest thing a, a friend did to me was definitely beef with me over a nigga, over my nigga. Why are you beefing with me over my nigga? Like you want him? You got him. This was like years ago, but it was like. You're my friend, you're my man, and you beefing with me over a nigga? Fuck you and fuck the nigga, like, at this point. I said, how's your mental health? Yeah, I'm good. Like, I'm back. I feel like y'all can definitely tell that I'm happier. Um, I'm satisfied with how life is going right now. You know, I'm trying to get my YouTube back. I feel like there's something on my face. I'm trying to get back on my YouTube shit, and, you know... Get my YouTube to be up there, like how it used to be. School is fine. School is the only really, school is the only thing that's really like stressing me out. 
Only because like, you know, it's time consuming and then work is due and I have to make sure I got a good grade, da da da. Um, that was a nacho. At home, everything is good. Relationship is good. Next question says, do I plan on moving out at 18? I don't think so. I want to, but I don't. And I have a reason as to why I don't want to move out so early. And it's really personal. I'm not gonna go in like in depth about what happened, but I came to New York at when I was six, right? From Haiti. So when I was living in Haiti, I was with my mom and everything from birth to six years old. And I came to New York at like December when I was six, turning seven until I started middle school, so fifth grade summer, my mom came and ever since then I've been with her. So basically, I lost a lot of my childhood without my mom. It wasn't her fault. It was having like trying to bring her here and it just took a long time. So because I didn't get to spend so much time with her, like I kind of want to stay here for a little bit more. Not just move out at 18, probably like 20, 21. But knowing me, Knowing how, like, I need more, sp I need more space for my clothes, and if I start a business, I'm gonna definitely need more space. I've been doing things that I'm supposed to be learning at 18 from young, like the shit I'm supposed to be learning at 18, getting ready for the real world. I've been doing that shit since young, so it's like, I wouldn't say I'm, I would be ready, but honestly, I feel like. I would be ready it's like i don't want to move out but then again i don't want to leave my mom but then again i could also just move out and then not go like to Atlanta or something i could stay in new york and then visit her from time to time or whatever these mozzarella sticks is killing me let's see the only thing that's not hitting right now is the mozzarella sticks but the bonus wings is not good um Next question is, would you ever take a boy seriously? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you going through a breakup? Blah, blah. All right, so, yes. Yeah, I've been asking me, trying to figure out what's going on with my love life, and the answer is yes. Yes, I got a man. If I got a nigga, and I'm not taking him seriously, that's not my nigga, so this, that's my nigga. But me, next question, y'all been fiending for me to answer this. Like feeling like why are I so worried about my body count? But then again, this is answering questions that I've been avoiding, so I'm answering. So it's, it says, are you a virgin? Slash, what's your body count? Yes, I'm a virgin. My body count is zero. I gotta understand. Like, I mean, I get why you guys ask the question because people, um, people lose their virginity. I like mad young and stuff. I'm not judging nobody if that's what happened that happened, but honestly, um I wasn't really you know trying to get down like that at 15, 14, 16, so it's still zero. And when I tell people that, they be like, well, I'm like, girl, we're 16. That's a, that's believable. If I say I got zero, like, that's believable. And I do have zero. Like, as long as you feel comfortable losing it to the person you lost it to, you know, you wasn't, this, it was your choice, it's fine. But personally, I decided to wait until I found somebody who, that loves me for me. I love my body, that loves my personality, that loves everything about me before I just give it up. So that's my advice to y'all. Like, don't just be out here fucking niggas, okay? All these niggas wanna do is fuck. Don't just be out here fucking niggas. Actually, do it because you wanna do it and do it to somebody that cares about you and not just about your pussy, okay? Next question, bitch. Next question says, would you ever move out of New York? If so, where? I feel like I drink after every question. This shit is good. I would move out of New York, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't to the point where I don't really know where I would go. Like, honestly, the only place I could think of is Atlanta. But everybody is packing their shit up to go to Atlanta. 
not Atlanta, then New Jersey, because New Jersey is literally like right there. I want an apartment in Manhattan. You know them apartments that just like the condos with the big windows and shit? I don't want a condo though. Like I want an actual like two bedroom, three bedroom apartment. Yes, for myself. No, if it's if I'm by myself, then a two bedroom. But uh, if I'm with somebody, then I'll say a three bedroom. Um, but I was I would do that like I would have that like in Manhattan, some shit like a, a luxurious apartment. But them shits be expensive. Somebody said, "What's the most toxic thing you've done to a nigga?" I know I don't fuck with that toxic shit. I don't be doing the toxicity, like, it be the niggas, okay? It be the niggas. But, I'll say the, the toxic thing that I did, something toxic that I did was probably blocking and unadding the person on Snap, and then unblocking and then adding him back on Snap. But that's what it's done for. If I unadd you or block you off on Snap, you're done. You're done. Next question is, what is something illegal that I did? Probably underage drinking. Yeah, I be smoking. I don't smoke. That's another question. The next question right after that is actually, do I smoke? No, I don't smoke. But I, I be smoking hookah sometimes. And if I was to smoke weed, it would have to be like on my birthday. Because I don't really, I don't really fuck with um, weed. I don't know. If you smoke around me, I don't mind it, but I'm not hitting it. But drinking, I don't just drink, just drink. If I'm at a party, then I'll I'll drink. But I don't even party, so barely drink. What's something people do that you hate, y'all? I got a whole list. Okay. Number one, telling me to do something while you see me doing it. If I'm at a store with you or something. And I'm helping you pick out outfits or sweaters or whatever. And I go to the other section to pick out something for you. Don't tell me. While you see me walking to that section, don't tell me. Go over there and look for something for me. You see me doing it. Let's say I wasn't paying attention. And then I noticed that I wasn't paying attention. And I go and pull out my book. When you see me pulling out my book, don't be telling me. Pull out your book and do your work. You see me pulling out my book. Don't try to like make it seem like oh i'm doing it because you told me to do it fuck you i hate that people do is talk over me or cut me off if i if i'm talking over you and i cut you off i will apologize only time i really be talking over my friends is in these youtube videos because these bitches don't be letting me talk i'm vocal when i'm doly but when i'm around people and stuff like that sometimes especially recording i just get socially awkward but people who just talk over you and just like completely ignore what you have to say. Not even talk over you and then ask you like, oh my fault, like what, what were you saying? Just completely forgot about what you said. Don't like that. Something else that I hate that people do is lie about the little is shit. Why are you lying about what you did this morning? If I ask you what you ate for breakfast, why you gotta tell me yes and you didn't eat shit for breakfast? I mean, that was just an example like don't lie about little shit especially if i know the answer like if i'm asking you a question and the way i'm asking you i'm implying that i know the answer and you're still lying to my face it's just like bro why are you lying like it could be the tiniest shit in a bitch a nigga it don't matter like y'all just y'all just be lying but why y'all got to lie never that deep and half the time i probably don't even give a shit for real when people try to protect my feelings don't fucking do that because you're gonna really end up just making it worse like people who try to protect my feelings yeah only really end up hurting my feelings even more like don't try to protect my feelings bro because like if you feel a, if you feel a way about me and you keep it inside because you don't want to hurt my feelings so you're trying to protect my feelings it's only gonna make it worse because your actions is gonna start showing it because you can't i just one thing to like you know not tell somebody but your actions you, you, your actions will show it like obviously a couple more but 
this is not a uh, thing people do that I hate videos, so. Next question. What's something you wish you did as a kid? I don't lie, yeah, um, my childhood was not the best. It really was not the best, like, I could have definitely done more, but my life story, so it's like, you know, um, but I wish I went out more, like, not like out to the movies more, because we did that all the time, but like, out in the playground, go to the park, um, go in the backyard, play with kids, you know, like, because I wasn't, I was always in the house, and that made me a homebody, like, when y'all see me outside, partying or hanging out with my friends that's a once in a while type of thing because i barely go out um i most like i mostly like being home i will bait on links just to stay home home is my safe place and i'm okay with that but i just feel like if i was if i went if i went to the park more and like have more fun as a kid i would be more outgoing and less anti-social and socially awkward next question is do you think social media has a positive or negative effect on teens in my opinion it's both there's both pros and cons um pros is a lot more teens are making money and stuff like that we're more aware of what's going on in the world because they just don't watch the news we do not watch the news like well most of us i'm not gonna talk for everybody school like most of our school work we do online and stuff oh uh, we do on social media not like other okay, social media um can make more friends online you're able to express yourself the way you want to express yourself online um you can entertain yourself not that way you dirty minded people i'm talking about like being able to um go on tiktok and just get your mind off Whatever is stressing you and just, you know, relax and just scroll through TikTok and just enjoy your own time. Negative, I would say for a person who's easily influenced, then what you see on the internet might really affect you, feel me? If you're somebody who's not easily influenced, then that's a good thing. Because something that you see on the internet, you're only going to do it if that's something you really want to do, not just because you see it on the internet. But some people... For example, BBLs, right? If you want a BBL, you want a BBL. Social media portrays like what body you should have, stuff like that. Or you need a big butt, you need this, you need a fat stomach. That has an effect on teens because they start building insecurities because it's like, you know, this is what I see online. Um, this is what's the standards. I don't fit the standards. And they start, they start, you know, having a problem within themselves because of what they see on the internet and what they see is popping and what they see is the trend or whatever when they get negative comments whether they know who the person is or not it like it makes them shut down and you know it makes sense you know because it happens to all of us not gonna lie like sometimes negative comments I'm like bitch what the fuck why would you say that shit for me but i built the confidence like bitch fuck you bro these bitches i be hating be wanting to eat my pussy so next question says have you ever cheated nope i never cheated i try not to do things that i wouldn't want to be done to me to other people so i wouldn't want to get cheated on um so i wouldn't cheat if i am getting to that point where i want to cheat I'm let you know like i'm not feeling you no more because i feel like that's better to, just, to keep it a buck with the person than to just go out and cheat Cause then it's like you're giving me mis mixed signals you're still with me but you're out here cheating it's not enough if you want to go have your fun and do you just let me know keep it but go do you next question asks um what do i consider cheating honestly a lot of shit cheating is not just fucking somebody else if you're with somebody else and you try talking to somebody else and that's how we wait to try to get to know them to hop in a relationship that's cheating um, having a backup plan, that's cheating. Because it's like, why the fuck do you have a backup plan? If I'm your girl and you my boyfriend, why the fuck would I have a backup plan? Why the fuck you have a backup plan? Like, that just shows that we don't trust each other. 
we should not be doing this because you have a backup plan you already know who's in line next i have a backup plan i already know who's in line next and that's not cool that's cheating receiving nudes from a bitch that you ask the nudes for like you ask for her for nudes and you got the nudes while you're with the girl that's cheating or if she sends it she sends it to you and you allow her to continue sending her nudes to you while you with somebody that's cheating because why are you comfortable and why are you making her comfortable to do relationship stuff with you if you're in a relationship with somebody else that's fucking cheating next question says do i like girls no i am straight but i do support it but i do play a lot like <laughs> i be playing gay a lot i'm not gonna lie i play gay a lot so i said why are you dtn I'm busy at me because these niggas is not to be trusted. But here I am in a relationship and I trust him. They got me. They motherfucking got me, y'all. They got me. Because these niggas be doing us wrong. Not gonna lie. It be DTB too. Because y'all bitches be dirty too. Y'all bitches be doing these good niggas dirty. Y'all. I, I, I know. I know some of y'all. Some of y'all bitches be doing these good niggas dirty. Y'all. So it's also DTB, don't get that twisted. It's DTB and it's DTM for life. DTM cause niggas be grimy, niggas be snaky, niggas, niggas be cheating, niggas is sneaky. They, they're manipulative, they feel like they could do bad things to you, but when they do the same shit to them, it's a fucking issue. Sometimes, half the time, niggas just be wanting to fuck. Sometimes niggas don't really care about your mental state and they just want the pussy. Next question says, are you and Pretty Ice and cool? Still cool. Now, why y'all trying to be messy? Why y'all even asking that? Y'all know that's my bitch for life. For life. I'm, I'm not in drama with nobody. I'm very... It's just, why am I starting to be with anybody? Why is anybody starting to be with me? So, no beef with nobody. Me and Iceland, we really n never, ever had an issue. Like, yeah, so it's... But bitches do be weird. Bitches do be weird, but since with this question, me and Iceland never had an issue. Now the question says, who's your man, who's your ex-man? Why would I ever show y'all my man? Maybe one day. Y'all probably see on Snap. So I have me on Snap. Do I have 4 hair? Um, I do not have 4 hair. Because I have 4A, 4B. 4 hair is beautiful. Don't, if you have 4 hair, don't ever let anybody, whether it's long or short, don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. As long as your hair is healthy, you, you got good hair. Okay, don't listen to nobody. Don't listen to nobody that tells you, oh, good hair is this, bad hair is this. Bad hair is unhealthy hair that needs to be cut the fuck off. Um, unhealthy ends, be damaged, that's bad hair. Good hair, no matter the texture, no matter the curl pattern, um, as long as it's healthy and it's flourishing, bitch, you got good hair. Don't listen to nobody. That topic is a topic I have a lot with people. I will come for you. I will come for you. I will come for you if you still have that mindset. Somebody says, do I ever feel insecure? Yes, I do. Um, I feel like everybody has their own insecurities, whether they show it or not. I definitely have my own insecurities. Um, sometimes I feel like a motherfucking bad bitch. Sometimes I feel like a motherfucking bum bitch. You know, it just depends on what I got going on. But always try to to accept your insecurities and love it for yourself because half the times our opinions on ourselves, our negative opinions on ourselves be like you know like when you feel like you look ugly you ask somebody like do i look ugly like do i look i look crazy like do i look crazy and they be like girl you look fine half the time you just criticize yourself heavier than another person would to uh, be able to be okay with not having good days every day next question says has any other youtuber or influencer tried getting next to you and the question is yes but i'm gonna leave it at that have you ever sent a nude like, just full out butt ass naked just nude no clothes on no nope. last question can you give advice on finding yourself again i feel like that would be for a whole nother video that was a lot of questions y'all asked me the fool did not the fool did hit like it slapped but it not it did not slap slap to the point where it's like oh shit i need to order another one because like I, I at the end i'm just like i don't want this shit no more so um but for a while we just, yeah i need to do better maybe it's just because i ordered it you know it got cold whatever but yeah that was it 
for the Q and A. That's the question that I have asked me. Um, if for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And oh, me answering these questions made you guys like feel closer to me and know me more as a person and stuff like that. So yeah, today was Vlogmas Day Four. I will see you guys tomorrow, Vlogmas Day Five. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our last check day of mobs. If you're not with the game, you can hang and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bitches.